<laughs> you know, we, I mean, that's how we got to start it, right? I mean, let me just say this: this last reunion, the third part of the the third part of the reunion. Hell, I had to take a nap. No, bitch, so I needed some long. earplugs. Mm -hmm. It was a yelling match. Mm -hmm. It just really got on my nerve. A bunch of lies were told. Well, um, you don't know if a bunch of lies was told. No, it was a bunch of lies told. Who was telling um, lies? A lot of them, I think, were telling lies. Well, who do you think was telling lies? I didn't think no lies were told. I thought everybody was telling the truth. Like, well, I think Apollo told a lie when he said he created Kenya. I'm your storyline. So while you run around here, every talk show, Apollo this, Apollo that, you should be paying me. Any I response? built you. I built you. OK? <laughs> well, he probably helped. He said he helped create the current Kenya Moore. Oh, the current King of War. Yeah, yeah. We're not talking about the past King of War. The I current got King you. Of War. I got you. Well, then. I mean, he is a big part of her storyline. He is, and she's a big part of their storyline. Well, I actually true. think they help each other. That, that is true. There you go. So if one, if one leaves, they both lose. <sighs> what else happened? What happened at the beginning? I well, you know, we, we learned that Kenya, Kenya and Nene ain't going to never be friends again. I have I've always been there mind. for you. I had no problem. But at the end of the day, I've always know, been nice. Me to say and make sense of whatever it is in her, in her head. And it will never make any sense to anybody but to her. And I Let me say this about that. I'm going to agree with Nene, actually. Really? Because they were never friends, for real. I think Kenya tried to be friendly mm -hmm. to Nene. And I think at first, Nene tried to be friendly to Kenya, but like I told Kenya, even coming into this show, none of these girls are your friends. That's true. None of, they ain't each other's friends. They don't even talk to each other outside of that show. I felt that during, during this, the, the reunion show, Nene was very cut and dry. She wasn't trying to hear that's what nobody had to say. Yeah, I haven't accomplished I just anything. feel like everybody here has accomplished a lot, you know? And I don't feel like anybody should feel like they are better than, better than else. anybody else, because everybody has long resumes. That's right. I haven't accomplished anything. I'm fine with it. Leave it like I haven't accomplished anything. Just a few short-lived gigs. Nene is, is at her wit's end with the show, um, which isn't really fair, because, you know, you come to a reunion show to rehash different occurrences that happened during the season. Mm -hmm. And so you lay them out on the forefront. Right. So really, I don't understand why these women get so upset and, and want to go all off on each other. You already know what's going to go down. Have your goddamn story together, what you're going to say, mm -hmm. and say it. You know, all that, I don't have anything to say about it. I don't have anything to say about it. Well, you know that's what you're supposed to do at a reunion show. <laughs> you I mean, talk they, about they it. pay y'all a healthy coin to sit up there on that couch. And talk about what y'all talk about your problems and your issues. Exactly. And then that whole thing about, you know, this person don't have the money, this person don't have that money, da da da. da. None of you bitches are goddamn Bill Gates or goddamn Warren Buffett. All of y'all are sitting on that couch because you really probably need to, with the exception of Candy, I'll say. Mm-hmm. You sit on that couch because you need to. See, oh. Candy's smart. She's sitting on the couch. She's giving, Honey. oh, no, I'm finna, I'm finna build me some more businesses off Phaedra of this Phaedra is a high-paid lawyer. Really? Well, yeah, because she's a lawyer, so they're uh, known to lie, that... so I could see where you get that from. She lied about being a high-paid lawyer. But I'm not trying to even go no, there. Wait, wait, I'm not, not trying to do that. that. No, no, see we how this about... bitch is messy? <laughs> I told y'all, this no, thing is messy. No, I'm not messy. I if just you, listen. Phaedra, if you watch it, you see he provoked it. I didn't provoke it. I just made a statement. You decided to Phaedra answer that. Phaedra never said she was a high-paid lawyer. Huh? You were being facetious. I was not being facetious. She, oh, you were she, totally being facetious. She has a law practice. She has an office. I mean, that's what, what that mean? mean. You're saying. An office. Yeah, girl, you girl, go, wait, wait, you girl, go listen, find a space girl. and you lease it really, out. Really, girl? So you, everything, see, see, I'm going to keep throwing that out there. You're going to keep catching it, ain't you? See? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> stop. It's just, just stop. Because you keep saying I, I, was, I was trying to move to the next girl. Okay, I was well, say, move to the Cynthia, next girl. Cynthia is, Cynthia is a model. She has a great model in school, you know? So they all have they all have their things no, going I, on. Yeah. I think all of them, you know, have have had a successful background. Yes. Don't give her all of them. So, okay. But I don't, I seriously, I refuse to believe that all of them will sit under that on that couch and subject themselves to all of that stress and all of that anger and you know just really take just really harbor that stuff and that energy and put it in their soul if they didn't have to. That's true. If they didn't have to. That's if true. it was me, I'm finna get up and walk away. You know why? Because I actually have real talent. I'll make money regardless. I'm not finna sit on that couch on that couch and deal with that crap. I'm finna get up and go. I agree with you. So this is this this show is an hour and a half. They kind of like broke everything down. It's, it was really hard to kind of stay a 
tr on track with what was going on because there was a lot of yelling. There was a lot of over talking each other. I said what I said. <laughs> what do you want me to do about it? <laughs> well, I you said, implied that. I said what I said. Okay, well, what okay. you said was some bull. Wait, you don't like it, it. You don't like it. I show. Look, the reunion was long and it was boring. The reunion was long, boring. Everybody that sat up there on that couch and like they were 15 years old and never been any goddamn where and have absolutely no home training. I think they all need to go to, um, what's that school called? Etiquette school. No, it's another word. What's it called? Charm, Charm school. school. They all need to go to Charm school, mm -hmm. including the men. Peter stepped down, ate a peach. So when they say that, oh, Peter is always in woman business, Peter is a bitch. Here's my plea. You're the new housewife. I don't care. <laughs> no, I'm, just I'm the new housewife. I don't care. I will say this. I was really surprised that Nene was lawming up on Andy like that. Oh, I know. Nene, are you aware that many of us in the gay community are livid at the way you repeatedly called Brandon queen and said it with homophobia dripping from your lips? How could you do that? Really? Yeah. OK. You said it multiple times, and you said it um, in a derogatory fashion. You thought? You did. I really did. Really? I, I did. Okay. Yeah. It came off that way to me. Um, if I offended you or anybody else in the gay community, and I apologize for that, since I, I never apologize. <laughs> My heart is so cold. Um, Were you offended? You guys Anybody know that I no, love I the gays. No, I was. I just told and, her that I was. Uh, that's the end of that. Do, right. do, you, do I need to go any further? What do you need me to do? Do you need me to you pull apologize. down your pants and kiss your ass? Okay, then. Here's the thing. I just think that, you know, when you have pretty much built a career using a lot of gay slang mm -hmm. and a lot of gay gestures and stuff, because it's all fun and games then, and you know you think, you know, everything is cute. But then when something happens and it's, you know, involving someone gay, mm -hmm. then it turns to, oh, that gay boy or that gay person or this queen or something like that. And I don't think that that's right. I think mm -hmm. you have to really be cognizant of who your supporters are. But no, that is true. But what I will say is that throughout the season, from season one to now, she's she said the word queen, used it before, you know, and and, and different scenes, everything else. So I, my thing is, is that we can't really, we can't really justify when and when she can't say it. If you don't want her to say queen, she just can't say it at all. So you can't say it. When she said it and she was speaking to somebody, or that she'll say, oh, she's like, oh, Derek J, here come that queen. It's the same damn thing. It's um, But you can't, be, you can't justify what you can't. So we, you can't say queen no more, lady. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> she said, you just can't say it. Because obviously, cause I just don't think it's right. I think we gave can, her a I pass. Think, I think that you can say it, but you, I don't think it's right to use it in a derogatory manner. But I don't think it was derogatory. She was like, that That guy came in here. She said, just, and then you had your little queen friend with the little red um, lingerie and stuff on. Well, and to it me, queen? it seemed like she might have been implying that he deserved to get his ass beat. But see, well, here you go with that. See, I said it's a, no, 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 no. But here we go. Wait, wait, wait. I said it's seen. Okay, listen. See the thing, and this is the, and this then is Peter what I backed it up and whoa, said whoa, whoa, whoa. the no, real no, man no. in the room. That was no, total no, no. disrespect. No, no, I don't no, care no. What this you say. is no. This is what this is what makes me upset. I don't care what you once say. Again, once again. We talked about them text messages last season. You said, hey, wait, wait, I said wait, it, and I I said what I said. But just listen to this, and I'm gonna leave it alone. The thing was, you used that word implied. It was the same time when you implied that Paula was gay and that, that man oh, was Oh, I never did that. Yes, you did. When you no, were I did that, not. On the, yes, no, no, you no, did. No, 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 no. You no, said, no, no, I know, no, you no, said, no, I said, I know said, someone. Oh, I know him. Yep. He and just, just said, got out of prison. How the hell did. is that implying no, no, no. that you somebody said, I is know gay? Some, uh, How is that implying somebody is gay? Find that scene. Where's Paula? How do you know him? He is a friend of one of my friends that I met him. When he first got out of prison. The ending conversation was, he just got a death. And, and Sarai like, said, So, Apollo knows Lawrence and he was in prison with men all that time? Interesting. I, know I said somebody, because I know we somebody, have a, a mutual, mutual friend. friend. Mm -hmm. Are you saying that all of my friends are all gay? They mostly are. That is a damn lie. <laughs> I have mostly straight friends. Uh, okay. That is, he is, that is such I'm a just lie. saying. And then once again, they went back to the back like that season when she talked about the text messages, and they she implied that he was texting. They no, was no, no, she said, didn't. No, she didn't. Yes, she at did. that reunion what show last year, Apollo was saying, "I don't like you." 
And Kenya said, well, then stop texting me. Um, That's not implying that it was it was sexual. I'm going to throw this to your ear. <laughs> <laughs> so listen is that here. If, if, if someone said, well, stop texting me, do you think that that... No, this shit was like, but you do be texting me, Apollo, and, and, and the implication that, oh you, oh, you be trying to get at this. So that's what I'm saying. So you can't use you can't use applied when I mean implied when it works for you, sweetheart. No. So, but that's what no, we no, got no, from no, this no. damn um, spilling the tea. With you the see how that with... stupid ass energy from that goddamn horrible ass reunion then show? Then they rubbed out on us. us. You see how spirits There's transfer? A... See, that we're not gonna let that happen. happen. But see the difference between us and Bevy, although she would never sit here and talk about that. We're gonna thing. eat afterwards. We'll go eat afterwards <laughs> and Kiki because it's <laughs> no shade. No shade. Because yeah. see, we're actually we actually have a genuine concern for one another. Mm -hmm. I can't speak for those ladies. They actually hate each other. You know, so, they gonna go to hell. Y'all gonna go to hell for that. We spilled the tea. Okay, the tea, <laughs> is, the tea, the tea is, is spilled. It's over. <laughs> See you next time. Bye.